Hi, my name is Marietta Mahani and this week's muscle conditioning tip is using the Swiss ball and the gym stick. Now, the gym stick's a really cool tool from Finland. It's basically a fiberglass stick which weighs 400 grams and there's two bands on either side. So I'm just going to take the bands off this side and that side. They're attached to the actual stick. Now, this actually creates a lot of versatility for working with using um, resistance on pieces of equipment like the Swiss ball. So I'm going to go through now an exercise where you're going to be working uh, your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, your biceps and your midsection muscles. Now how do you get all that in one go? It's one of the things about using the gym stick and the Swiss ball. Alright, let's get stuck into it. So what I'm going to do is place the straps around the arch of each foot. So all the way in, around the arch of the foot. Now I'm going to sit on the ball, but I'm going to walk myself forwards. I'm just going to back up a little bit here. And I'm going to walk myself forwards until my head is supported on the ball. So head and shoulders on the ball, and the rest of my back and my buttocks and my legs clearly off the ball. Now the cool thing with the gym stick is I can change the resistance really quickly. So I don't have to think about how I'm going to get another weight or how I'm going to add more tension on, say, other therabands. All I have to do is turn the gym stick and the band wrap around the ends. And that's the genius about using the gym stick because I can add a little bit or add on a lot. I don't have to work out what's going to be the appropriate load until I'm here and then I can adjust it while I'm exercising. So I'm going to add quite a bit of tension on because what I'm going to do is a bicep curl in this position. So keeping the hips lifted up high, I'm going to curl the stick or bring the elbows, bend the elbows and bring the stick towards the shoulders and then extend the arms all the way back out. So we're going to pull it in and release, pull it in and release. The entire time I'm using these posterior muscles to keep me lifted in this bridge position. So a really cool exercise. Now, if you want to, you can also include pelvic floor here because as I pull the stick up, I can actually feel the tension build through my legs, up through my inner thighs, into my midsection. And it feels more instinctive to cue and add a pelvic floor lift, yep, if you know what you're doing when you're doing a pelvic floor lift. So I can add the core component to this as well. So pulling the gym stick up towards the shoulders and releasing, pulling it up and releasing it. So I would do around about eight to 16 repetitions of that, especially if you're a group exercise instructor, two blocks of musical work, have a little break, and then here's the next alternative. So the next uh, progression is to do the whole thing, but with your feet together. So with my feet together, I've reduced my base of support. It's more challenging yeah, from that perspective. I've got to work much, much harder to keep my hips up, and I'm squeezing my inner thighs together, so my inner thighs are working a bit harder. Also, because of the way the bands are attached to the end of the stick, as I bring my feet closer together, my inner thighs automatically work a lot harder. So again, another 8 to 16 repetitions, just depending on how hard you want to work and how fast you want to move up, have another little break. So for the next level, the next progression, I'm going to slide one foot forwards, place heel on the floor, and continue but driving up with one buttock working a lot harder. So right now my right leg is forward and my left buttock is working really hard to keep my body up here. Also what's changed here is that my right bicep is working harder because the bands on that side are stretched just that little bit more. So we'll just swap sides, another leg. So it's really interesting when you use a gym stick because it changes the resistance that you'll feel on either side. I think it's really clever. All right, so again, eight repetitions on each side. And then if you want to go further, you lift the hips up, take one leg off the floor. Whoa, now we've got the balance component involved here. So this is where I'm working much, much harder with that left leg. My right leg's actually working to stay straight and also work against the bands as I pull the stick up towards my shoulders. 
So there's a dual activity there. Let's try on the other side now. So hips lifted up as high as possible. And you're just pulling that stick up towards your shoulders. I can feel this in my back. Biceps are working hard. My triceps are working as well as I fully extend the arms all the way back down to my thighs. Wow, it's such a full on exercise. And it's so effective. You know, one of the things that we have to consider when we're using a Swiss ball is it's really hard to add load. But a gym stick provides that ability to do that really simply and really, really easily. And it changes depending on where your feet are placed. I really like this exercise a lot. It's great for my back, it's great for my biceps. And a lot of, um, I can get some pelvic floor involvement in there because of the way the bands feel as I, as I pull the stick up towards my shoulders. So if you're looking for a full body workout that involves biceps, this is the one. And that's this week's gym stick and muscle conditioning tip.